Tittle and Tiddle TV Radio Show. Well, as you can see, I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching too. Because we've got a new email address, that's right. It's Tittle in the middle at live, L I V E dot com. So I do hope you will email your Tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit, let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. What we like to say, y'all. Bon appetit. Let's eat. And we're going to get down and dirty with it, too. <laughs> Hi. Your tittle's in the middle. Want to have some fun? Welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV Radio Show. Isn't that a wonderful thing? It's a wonderful treat. Great. Thank you. And everybody say toast to the world. Stay healthy, stay Stay green, stay alive. Yes. (laughs) It's green. Green. Yay. Bone of the teeth. Let's eat. eat. You're cooking with Tittle. And the 10th Ward and the new communities program. Right now, I'm with Kevin Murphy. We meet again, Kevin. Indeed we do. And he is with the Green Communities Initiative Program for Clarice and Associates, but you tell us all about it. Okay, uh, four years ago, uh, I'm with the Calumet Stewardship Initiative, and um, about four years ago, we were talking with members of Clarice and Associates about our concern about making the community more knowledgeable in terms of what's going on in the world, in terms of green development and so forth. And it happened that the timing was right, and their, their new communities program, Coalition Associates New Communities Program, took off with us, and we began planning a green summit, which started out, as you know, as a one-day event sure for two years. And the problem with that was that, uh, like too many good things, when you've got a lot of people involved in a program and it's one day long, they can't get to see each other's stuff. So after two years of that, we said, what if we did it for a month? Yeah. And part of what we were saying at that point was, oh, yeah, let's do it for a month, and we'll be... Uh, you know, totally desperate to fill the time. We thought we wouldn't be able to fill up that for month with enough things, but we thought, let's take a shot at it, and we did. And oh. So it's been going like that, as you know, ever since. Yes. And uh, Celebrating, kicking off with Cinco de Mayo and yeah. the wonderful breakfast that we had earlier this year yeah. and the awards. It was indeed a special time and a special program. And being on the ground floor of what's happening now, I just feel like everything is just coming up real green. Yeah, it's exciting because uh, the community is becoming more aware of it. I'm, I can't measure it in terms of the total community yet, but people are interested. We know that when we get things going and offer opportunities for people in the field, a lot of people will come out and show up and get involved, want to help, cleaning out invasive species on the, of plants and that along okay. the park lands and stuff like that, all sorts of good things like that. So it's been uh, a rewarding experience because of the fact that the people are getting with it. Our dream, when we started this, Joanne and I, when we got involved in it, uh, started, you know, working with it, was that eventually we'd be able to have an educated community that would be attractive to new green industry because we have the most open space in the city of Chicago. And we're saying, bring your green, non-polluting industry here and hire from this community because it's ready. And so that's what an awful lot of this has been about from the start. Well, I love the pollution to the solution and from steel to the green meal. 
it's so good that you all have the urban farmers market here too. Yes. So that's a wonderful thing. So tell us something else, Kevin, that we, we may not know about what Lakeside Industries is doing. Okay, Lakeside Development is planning to put in a lot of new living space, retail space, and we hope art centers and things of that sort as well for the community. Our concern, again, is that the people who are involved in developing it will be hired from the community. Okay. That's We want that to be a, a strong part of it so that the community isn't shut out, that it participates in the development. The community is going to change. It's, you know, 30 years from now, it's going to be different because of the things that are going to go on USX. So you've got one big event coming up uh, with the Dave Mathis Indeed, band indeed, coming, yes. And then uh, you're going to have concerts uh, going on throughout the summer. I don't know about beyond that. I know the Dave Matthews one is planned, and beyond that, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I hope that, uh, it that it will happen, because the more that happens, the better for the community. I well, this is a huge space to fill, and you it could was a slag, you said. Chicago's Loop in there, and have room left over. Yes, and I hear it's only 15 minutes away from the Loop. Yeah, <laughs> That's if you go down 41. Oh, oh right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kevin, for telling us what's going on with Lakeside Industries, the new communities program that is going on with Clarice and Associates, and you just keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you, Madonna. It's thank you pleasure. so much. My All pleasure. right. And you know what we like to say. Bon appetit. Let's eat from steel to green. So we're going to check out those salads that Gregory grew. Okay. And Benny Nichols put together. Both of them. Great. Oh, yeah. That's a good team. <laughs> okay, yes, it is. All right. Kevin Murphy. Thank you. We're cooking with Tittle, and do I have friends today? Friends in high places like the 10th Ward Green Summit Initiative. Thanks to Claritian Associates and to my green friends, Kraft Foods is sponsoring Chef Betty today and also award-winning gardener Gregory Branton. I am so glad that we are here today. Greg, you're going to show everybody just how you grow all this stuff, right? Yes. Yes. And Betty, you're going to show what you're cooking today, right? Yes. Okay, we're gonna get started because we got a lot of growing and a lot of eating to do. You know what we say, y'all. Bon appetit, let's eat. And we're gonna get down and dirty with it, too. <laughs> Betty is going to go and start doing those French things. What are you gonna do today? A barbecue, portobello, tacos. Oh. All freshly grown out of the garden. Oh my goodness, and whose garden is it? Gregory. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy if this day is here. We are grilling our onions and our garlic, fresh garlic, fresh onion. And that's getting our seasoning ready for our portobello to go in next. Okay. Okay. Now, once I get that all sauteed, LaDonna, I'll take my portobello that we've already sliced. Okay. Okay, we will put those in. Now, because our portobello grows on the outside, we always want to add a little water to our mushrooms, okay? okay. Then we do, we put our olive oil in already. We put a little water in it to keep our mushrooms from becoming too dry. Okay. We want them to always stay moist, okay? Now, Got all that sauteing together, right? Now, LaDonna, I always add a little seasoning. I add Old Bay. I love Old Bay. You like Old Bay? I like Old, Old Bay, Bay too. is the bomb. Yes. So we add a little Old, Old Bay. Bay. <laughs> okay, just a couple sprinkles. And then we're going to add a little lemon pepper because we don't like salt. So we put a little lemon pepper. That salt can be deadly for us fat yes. women. <laughs> and don't forget that we continue to move it around a little, okay? We don't want it to stick at all. We want to continue to make sure we're just sauteing our mushrooms. Portobello. But Donna, I add a little Cajun seasoning to okay. the portobello. It gives it a little, just a little bite to it. Yeah, give it a little bite. You know, make it a little different. Got a little leaf basil, that's sauté. As that is sautéing, what I have done is I have julienne the red as well as the green peppers. Now, 
My portabella is almost done. Remember, this doesn't take a long time. That's why these are great dishes to have to help keep the weight down as well as healthy eating. Just picking it right off the tree. Well, Adama, when I started this program, you said we want to take it right from the garden to the kitchen. That's right. Okay. So, so this now is what you, we do. You are a real live, true caterer. I am a live caterer. 